I got into rowing because someone called Bob Neal came up to me in the middle of the playground when I was an S2. I was a very long, tall, lanky young lady, um, quite shy, um, not very good at pushing myself. And I was absolutely terrified of this physics teacher saying, you're a very tall young lady. <laughs> Would you like to come and do some rowing? And I've never really looked back, to be honest. So I do actually owe my entire rowing career to Olympic Games, World Championship, European and Olympic medals to Bob Neal. I think one of Bob's uh, real tricks was that, especially because he was so busy, he would be head of physics, he would run the timetable for the school, he set exam papers, he, he wrote books on physics, he, you know, he played five-a-side football in uh, his earlier days. He supported Hibs, and he was, I think he didn't miss many matches. He fitted a lot into his life. So his real trick was that he then had the rowing club running. So we would load the trailer on a Friday afternoon for an event at the weekend, and he would pretty much be trusted to load it, which is a big trust. We don't want a boat falling off the trailer. So very, a lot of trust, and uh, you could really make your own path. Um, and I think that's perhaps why there's, in my group of 15 in the minibus, there's two of us went on to coach uh, Olympic crews and I think you really learn about how to develop people and Bob is full of trust and let us develop our own paths and almost coach ourselves and develop ourselves but of course you had to have that environment where that was possible which is what Bob gave us. So Bob Neal had a very interesting perspective on the rowing club. Once he'd set the ground rules and you understood them, you understood the risks and knew how to row the boat and how to handle the boat he quite often just left us to our own thing. You just assumed more and more responsibility as you got older in the club. And that was, it gave us an amazing amount of confidence. If you ask any former member of the club when they moved to their future university or club, they would all have been shocked at how useless their club members were at doing these things because it had all been done for them. It was just something that we learned and had to do because Bob was basically running the club on his own. I guess that love of rowing that was brought in to me by Bob changed my life. So I became more and more involved with rowing. I've coached the Irish team to World Championships and I've coached the British team at two Olympic Games and Bob coached, coached me or developed me and uh, I coached Catherine Granger who's the head of UK sports. So there's that ripple effect where you perhaps have to take satisfaction and where your protégés end up and what they then perhaps achieve rather than looking just to yourself. But I think that's what Bob is. I'm sure he could have made more of himself and he could have been a millionaire as a businessman or whatever, but that sort of uh, teaching, coaching, development side of him is where he, he let his life uh, blossom. Bob is one of those people that gave far more to society than he ever took. If you look at the wider FP group from the rowing community, you will see that is something that we learned from him. It is really nice to see how many of us actually now enjoy putting back into society. I'm not saying any of us can match Bob's level. I mean, that was just unbelievable. But that's something that really shaped everybody that was in the rowing club. My passion is enthusing young women into sport. So for example, I've done a little bit of mentoring with some of the girls in Harriet's that are kind of coming through the ranks. And But even just being able to bring my medal around and let them like see it and hold it. And I think that's quite special. I hope to be able to enthuse people and whatever it is they want to do with their lives. It doesn't have to be sport, it doesn't have to be rowing. When you're out on the water, I feel like you can focus really well. There's nothing else to distract you. It can be quite calming, but you also have that really competitive aspect. Rowing for me has always been the most superb way of exercising. For me, it was about being on the water in the sunshine with your friends. In rowing, you're just focusing on doing the best that you possibly can. It's just that feeling of your blades sliced through the water. It's just a beautiful feeling. The rowing ethos that I try and work to and hold and educate the pupils to as well is firstly to work hard, secondly to have an open mindset 
And kind of most importantly, in my opinion, is to just be thankful of what you receive and try and pass that forward. Over the last eight seasons, uh, we've had 20 Scotland vests, five GB vests, four girls have gone to America on full ride scholarships. Definitely the programme punches above its weight on that kind of top level standard. Massive achievement for, for the school to be competing at a, a Great Britain level. I'm really proud of that. What rowing does with lots of other sports is it, it contributes to stuff that's maybe not learned in the classroom. It contributes to people's wellness and it teaches lots of things what I technically call the meta skills. Things like resilience, competition, teamwork. Discipline, you know, having to show up to training early mornings and prepare all my things the night before. Rowing's also really helped me understand my limits both mentally and physically, like pushing myself to the absolute maximum. I think it's taught me to have more confidence in myself. I feel like we've become closer as a year group. What really captured my imagination with rowing is that the changes I made, I could like see the effects of them. You could really see the progress as you keep trying and go to all the sessions. Rowing is very team-based. It's a lovely feeling when you've got your all in sync, trying as hard as you can, pushing down. It's been lots of fun. We've got rowers now from S2 go right through to, to S6. And ultimately, we've got role models. We've got female, strong female role models and male role models. So they can see from starting the canal and S2, you can then achieve and be a GB athlete. We compete within Scotland against Scottish schools and clubs and universities as well. But the pinnacle of junior rowing is to go down to the National Schools Regatta. In 2022, we achieved a gold medal in the Championship Girls 4, and in 2023, we again achieved a gold medal in the Girls Championship pair. Winning two years in a row definitely was quite exciting. Being able to say we're two times National Schools champion, quite inspiring to the younger ones, I think. It was pretty special. I think it might have been like the first time in school history that that's happened. It's good to uh, have recent success within the club. Rowing has been a huge part of my life, and it still is. It's my absolute passion. It's given me experiences that I never thought would be possible. You know, I've been to Brazil, Japan, Korea, Australia, all over the world. All of that was born from one little canal session. So I feel I owe most of my success to my time at Harriet's and, and having those moments. The rowing club gave me two things in life. The first was an understanding with the volunteer work and that giving back, that's something that really shaped everybody that was in the rowing club. And in terms of rowing itself, it gave me that determination and focus to look at targets, work out a way of getting there and then acquiring that particular level or that target.